what's up everybody welcome back to stone block 2 if we open up our achievement book we've done every single achievement in here except for one now these are the main achievements of course there are other achievements but these are to help you get these done and we just need one more which is this right here we need to kill the chaos chicken the Chaos Chicken is spawned by dropping a Dragon Egg on a Ring of Obsidian with a Diamond Block in the middle. Use the Chicken Stick to destroy the Chicken's Shield, which is what we've been doing, and it requires the Big Bad, which is this one right here. Yeah. I'm a little bit excited, guys. Are you guys excited? Let's go fight the, let's go fight the Chaos Chicken. This sounds fun. If you guys remember, we have this magical snow globe, and I did unlock it. It is right here. It is now active. I'll show you guys how we did that, but the reason why we did that is for this right here. This is a quantum quarry. What this does is this will automatically mine blocks from a hypothetical dimension that might have existed. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you will get ores. This is a pretty simple build. You just need to cover it with some other blocks from the same mod pack. I believe this is actually utilities too. Yeah, actually utilities too. So if you guys need ores, you guys can use this. I don't really need them. At least I don't think I need them unless we get like wrecked by the boss. But the way you unlock this is to travel through different biomes. What we did is right here, I went down all the way to Bedrock and then I just held the mining button and forward and i just walked forward for about i don't know maybe like 20 minutes probably less i i kind of like afk'd while i was doing it but yeah that's how you unlock it you just go in one direction i went east that's east by the way you end up hitting like a beach river a mystical forest extreme hills savanna desert you hit like a bunch of biomes going that way that's the way i went um and that location over there and i was able to unlock it in pretty fast if you don't have a tool that has unbreaking use the chicken stick the chicken stick technically is unbreaking this can't this doesn't have any durability so you could use this for that process it will be fast enough to break everything uh it's a really really good actual mining tool even early game it's kind of hard to get because you have to go to the end dimension but once you get the chicken stick just know that that does actually do really really good really really good mining what else do we need in order to fight this guy i want to do what what do we want to take with this guys the only thing I can imagine that we need more are levels. Let's take, let's see, we have 700 levels here, and that's because I disabled the farm a lot sooner than I could have. I'm going to take 500 levels. I feel like anybody should be able to get 500 levels pretty easily, and that's a simple number for us to figure out just how much damage the boss actually does to us and how hard it is for us to survive. Let's grab our two other things that we want let's go ahead and eat this beautiful apple that should give us everything we need there let's drop this egg that should have hit and there's our chaos chicken spawning in what does this look like when it spawns in i did bring my bow um actually let me turn that off quickly move this this way there we go. Our bow is set to be usable as well. In case I feel like I have a need for it. I don't think I will. This should be enough. So the Chaos Chicken is green when he does his particle effects. I like that. I did try to put a bunch of light around here so we could get a good view of it. Oh, it is definitely doing a lot of disco ball action. Okay. I like it. It should spawn into like a little chicken like the other ones, like the small egg. Um, and then just go bananas, right? Let's see. It's super slow. Okay, yep. It turns into the small one. And I'm cracking its shell. Okay, cracking its shell is not as... Oh, no. It's moving. Oh, it's already attacking us. Wow. 
And there's the beautiful head. Hello, beautiful chicken. Where is your ring, bro? Why can't I see it? Uh, okay, let's switch weapons. I don't even think I have any arrows, so might need to. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So we broke its shell. Oh, look at our damage. Our damage is way different than the other one. This guy's just kind of staring at us. So why aren't you attacking me? Oh my gosh, guys. Chaos Chicken is doing damage, but we're definitely winning. Uh, little by little, his HP is going down. Our our weapon is definitely strong enough. He does regain his shield. So as you can see, you do got to walk up, crack his shield again every once in a while. And once you crack it, you're good. Now I'm trying to figure out if it's better for me to stay close to him or to get distance. Come on, come on, come on. Let's break that. Let's go in. So I learned that the best way to do this is to actually just not stay like right on him, but just, okay. Did he just regen everything or did he just die? Oh, he died. Okay. That was an interesting fight. By interesting, I mean it was horrible, and we definitely need night vision for this, because if not, you guys won't be able to really see me kill him. So let's do this again, but let me get night vision. We're back, guys. We're going to fight the chicken again, but I do want to go over one really, really cool thing. Right here, as you can see, I have stacking absorption, stacking speed, stacking strength, resistance, and regeneration too. And that is with these apples. These apples do, in fact, stack, which is awesome. I didn't know they stacked. This changes a lot of it because these are really easy to get. As far as the boss goes, as long as you have Last Stand 2 on all your items, which I have 8, it doesn't really cost that much experience in order to survive the boss's damage. Because the boss does a lot of damage, guys. Um, and then it... The good news is that this guy doesn't have the Enderman attack with him. So the Enderman don't go aggro on you and try to bite your neck off. But they are still in the mix. So those googly eyes will still look at you. So you at least have an audience when you fight this guy. So that's fine. One thing you can do is you can preemptively eat these. Uh, they do stack, which is why I've been eating a bunch of them. I'm going to save a couple of them just because I like to. I'm going to chase it down. Mm, just... Because we have a, uh, there we go, there we go, it's it's hatching, ouch. Uh, the explosion knockback is super annoying, uh, I just want it to do its shell, once it does its shell, we're fine. Why did I go to the book, whoops, come on buddy, crack this shell, give me chaos chicken damage, there it is right there, that's what we want. Once that happens, you break its shell, switch over to the boat, watch this damage, guys. Look at the boat destroy this thing. It does do that. It will get its shell back. Just run up, break it, and then just chase it down. I'm underneath it right now. I know it doesn't really seem like I'm doing much, but we are destroying it. And there it is. Chaos Chicken Decimate. That, that was destruction, guys. We killed this guy so fast. Thank you, Chaos Chicken, for your loot. Give me my shards. Oh, oh, there's an angry enderman. Always pay attention to angry endermen because they are annoying and they can hit you. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do hurt. Up oh, there's all my loot right there in the middle. Give me my heart. Give me my chaos shards. There we go, guys. Let me show you my preferred method of killing this guy and what I use in order to kill him and what worked the best for me. Night vision just ran out. But this does help the night vision from addition from actual add-ons is a very good night vision. It's easy to use. You just need blaze powder, which we have a bunch of. So this is a bonus. These are good, but you don't really need them. This is the one that I like out of all of these. I could do without the other ones. They're not that important. These apples are phenomenal. You definitely want to use some of these apples because of the absorption is fine. The strength is fine. I don't know. It just it makes you feel buffer. Uh, it's probably not even that much of a necessity. The regen too is really good. 
but it does feel like it helps a lot so get some apples and you you probably per boss i'd say you need like three of them and that's being very 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 safe honestly you could probably get away with just two if you have bad armor and by bad armor i mean last stand one or two just on one piece you need at least last stand one or else you're just going to get like destroyed but the more last stand you have the less experience it costs each time it triggers so it's safer to have multiple last stands as you can see i do have it on every piece that we have of our armor we are using the dragon armor which was super easy to farm thanks to this same enchantment anyways guys now that we have the chaos shards we can go home and do this we can come home to rocky and kitty and we can show them that we finally defeated stone block 2 that's right guys we get our final reward which is a cobblestone generator thank you very much for this beautiful cobblestone generator i'll take it anyways guys we beat the mod pack 